NFL season is here, and we've got all different new tools at Stochastic.com to help you win some money this football season. And included in our package is our simulation tool. If you guys played baseball with us this summer, you're probably familiar with it, but I'm going to give you an overview of how it works for football. Now, one thing of note is that we have two different packages. We have the base package and we have the max package. You can simulate up to 10,000 lineups in our contest simulation tool. If you have the max package, you could export as many of those as you would like. If you have the base package, you could export up to 20 of those lineups at a time. And then you can send those directly to FanDuel and or DraftKings. But let's walk through the different features that are in the contest sim tool and how you could use them and how you could use that information to make some money this season. One thing of note is that we do have a tab here for the contest generator. So if you've already built out lineups in the contest generator, you could then click on the pre-contest simulator tab, and it will already have a file here with all of your lineups. You click run contest simulation, then in a couple of, line, in a couple of minutes, all of those lineups that you've built, up to 10,000 of if you have the max packages, up to 10,000. If you have the base package, you can build up to 500 lineups in the contest generator you go over to the contest simulation tool and you could sim those lineups. Now, if you wanted to, and let's say you use Fantasy Cruncher and you wanted to use them to build out your lineups, you could also do that. You save the file, you could upload it here, and then you could also use those files and those lineups to simulate out lineups. The standard is going to include our projections, the stochastic projections, but if you guys have your own projections you want to upload, you can do that as well. What you do is you click on the use custom projections, you download the template, and then you move your projections over our projections in the file. And then you upload that right here. And then you could run a simulation with your own custom projection. So that's another way that you could customize the results that you get from our simulation tool. Now, after you've built out all of these lineups, there are some different settings that you could see here, or I should say different columns that are going to give you all kinds of different information. Now, for a lot of people using this, maybe build in 20 lineups, 50, 100, 150, whatever it may be. Favorite the lineups that it is that you want to have selected. And the default is going to have them sorted by projected ROI. That's generally how we recommend is the best way to pick what lineups you want to play is the ones that are projected to have the highest ROI against the other lineups that are simulated against each other. So that's this column right here, the simulated ROI. This column is going to be the projected fantasy points. So if you chose to, you could just select your lineups that are projected to score the most fantasy points. You could pick and choose them that way. There's the ownership sum. So that is the total amount of ownership of all the players in that lineup added together. There's the stack column here, which is basically just which QB you have in that lineup. And then over here, the stack type. So it's how many of the skill position players from that team are stacked with the quarterback. So if there's three pass catchers, it's going to be QB plus three. If there's one pass catcher, it's going to say QB plus one. And then I'll scroll down. I'll see if I can find an unstacked lineup, one right here. So this is an unstacked lineup. So it is Jalen Hurts as the quarterback with none of his pass catchers. So with that in mind, there is no stack and there is no stack type for that because it's just a naked quarterback. The win percentage, this is the percentage of time that that lineup is expected to come in first place based on the 40,000 simulations all these, all these lineups ran against each other. This is the percentage of time that that lineup ended up winning. And then as well as what percentage of time this cashed in a large field tournament and what percentage of the time it came in the top 10 of all of these lineups playing against each other. You could also change some of the results of the simulated ROI based on the percentage to first that you select. So how you should select this is whatever closest mirrors the contest that you're playing in and the payout structure. So you're playing something that's really flat that only pays out say five or 10% of the prize pool to first place. You wanna pick one of those options. If you're playing more of a large field tournament with a more top heavy payout, it could be 20, 25, 30%. So for instance, week one on DraftKings, the Millie Maker is a $5 million prize pool. It's $1 million to first place. So if you're entering lineups into that contest, you would want to select the 20% payout because that's what's going to resemble the payout of that field. And that is going to impact how these lineups are projected to pay out because the amount of first changes in a top-heavy payout as well as it changes when it's a flatter contest structure. So it is going to change which lineups you want to play in those tournaments. There's also a dupes column here, which is not going to be massively important for football Sunday because on the main slate, we don't really run into duping issues all that often. If you're playing a lineup, chances are it's going to be fairly unique because there are so many players to choose from on the slate. However, for something like showdown on DraftKings or single game contest, the dupes do come in 
and play a really large portion. And it, it's something that definitely impacts your ROI. If you have a lineup that say is duped, you know, 40 times, as opposed to a lineup that is not duped at all, that's going to impact what the payout is expected to be. And when you build lineups in our contest generator for something like showdown, we do have a feature in there that's going to build out lineups in a way where they are going to be duped a certain amount of time. So that will show up in this column and it will also impact the ROI of those lineups. Also, if you want to change the site that you're playing on, you could also do that right over here where you could choose DraftKings, FanDuel, and Owner's Box also coming soon. That's a new sponsor of ours that we're working with. These are the individual lineups with all the different players in them, as well as the salary used in each of those lineups. If you want to change some of the players that you're getting to, you could change the ROI in here. So let's say, for instance, that the Washington Commanders, we're getting to them in 34% of the top 150 lineups in this simulation. Maybe you want less of them. You don't want that much exposure to a defense. You could give it a negative 10% ROI boost, then click boost ROI. And now if you unfavorite all of the lineups and now sort it again, based on the simulated ROI, select your top 50 lineups. You'll notice when you go into the ROI boost, you'll be getting to a little bit less of the Washington commander's defense. And if you want to make this you know, more, you could do the exact same. You could do the ROI boost up more. And then also, let's say that you don't even want 33 per, or 32.6%, you want even less. You could go even heavier with the negative projected ROI here. And let's see, if we go negative 60%, do the same thing. Unfavored all these lineups, resort them by simulated ROI, select the top 150. And now the exposure to the commander's defense is down to 22%. So that's a way that you could manually manipulate some of the exposures in here if you so choose to do so. And you could also do stack boost change. So let's say you just want more exposure to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers offense as a whole. You could go in here and manually change their entire stack boost up as much as you want or decrease it as much as you want. So that will change the amount of stacks you're getting of that team. So if you get into too many Baker Mayfield stacks in your lineups, you could change that and you can manipulate the lineups you're getting to in that way as well. So that's the way that you could customize your lineups in here. Next tab over here is the player ROI tab. So this is going to be based on the lineups that you imported into here and then you simulated. These are the individual players that had the highest ROIs. So if you look at somebody like Tyler Boyd, in all lineups that contain Tyler Boyd, he had a 52.8% simulated ROI. And then you look at the Baker Mayfield here. So Baker Mayfield, on average, he had a 47.8% simulated ROI. If you want to see which players were the least profitable, you can do the same and see uh, poor Odell Beckham Jr. here who has a negative 81.1% simulated ROI in the lineups that he was in. Stack ROI. Same sort of idea as the player ROI, but this is for stacks. So you could see for QB plus one. So single stacked QBs, you could see for each of them what those lineups were and their ROI, and you could sort these as well. So the least valuable QB plus one stacks in this build were Bryce Young, Carolina Panther stacks. The most valuable were Baker Mayfield. And there's going to be some correlation here in general. If somebody's, you know, a profitable QB plus one stack, Stan Cerevis, it's going to be the same for QB plus two and QB plus three. So that's another way you could look at how you might want to go about constructing some of your lineups. Favorites is just another way to look at all the lineups that you favorited. And then the exposures here, this is going to be just an overall screen cap of all the exposure you have to different players. So if you sort this by exposure, which is the default, you'll see the players getting the most exposure to. So in this build, we have the most of Chris Godwin. He was in 27.3% of lineups. You can see his projected fantasy points here, as well as a simulated ROI, the ownership projection on him, as well as the leverage. So the leverage is going to be the difference between the projected ownership and then the amount of him you have in your lineup. And then if you also want to look here, you can do the inverse as well. Sort by negative leverage. You can see which players you're most underweight to the field to. So the slate started, who you're rooting against? In this build, you'd be rooting against Joe Mixon, for instance, because he was only in 4.7% of lineups when he's projected for 13.6% ownership. You could also do the same here by looking at the stack exposures. So kind of similar to the stack ROI is just another way to look at which stacks you're getting the most of in, in, in a different view here. So you could see that Justin Herbert, QB plus one stacks, 10.7% of them. 
11.3% of Justin Herbert QB plus two stacks, and then uh, so on and so forth with QB plus three. Now from here, if you like the lineups you built, really easy, you just click the export favorites lineup. It's going to give you a file with all of the lineups you've built. And from that, you could upload directly to DraftKings, to Fan, to whatever site you're playing on, and you can enter them into the contest you're playing. So that's all that you need to know about the contest generator here in the pre-contest simulation tool. This is going to be a really, really beneficial tool for you guys to make some money on NFL DFS this year. So hope you enjoy the football season and come win some money with us. Stop guessing, start winning, join Stochastic today.